So how do you allow tracking on an iPad? Well, let's get into it because it is a little bit of a broader topic. There are different types of tracking which you can enable on your iPad. So let me begin by the location tracking. So when you go to the settings and find the security and privacy, you can find the location services and there essentially any of these apps can track your location if that is what you mean by it, right? So you can enable the location services altogether and then also manage it on app by app basis. So that is like the first approach. But below it, we also have a specific thing called tracking, right? And this is not tracking your location, but rather your behavior, right? So you can see that these are the apps which have requested to be tracking you in a sense, right? So this mostly applies to social media, right? So essentially here you can allow apps to track you across other apps and website, right? So it basically makes advertisements better for the apps. So you can keep it turned on. I like to have it this way. And this is another way of allowing tracking, right? Then we have the accessibility features. So when you go to the accessibility, there are like different types of tracking here as well. So we literally have a thing called eye tracking. And this basically allows you to control your device using just your eyes, right? So obviously the description says that the iPad should be on a stable surface and that's how you need to set it up. But this is how you can allow the tracking in here. Right, so this is another thing which you might have in mind. And last but not least, we have the Find My Tracking. So when you click on your name at the top of the settings page, we can find the Find My, and that's basically how you can track the location, the physical location of the iPad from some other device in case you lost it or cannot find it. So in here, you need to ensure that it is turned on that the Find My iPad is toggled on, especially the Find My Network, so you can find it from other devices. So these are the things which you might have in mind when you wanna start tracking the iPad. Let me know below in the comments if this, this was the thing that you were aiming for. Subscribe for more tutorials and videos like this one, and I will see you later.